What goes up must come down. A body in motion tends to stay in motion. When an irresistible force meets an immovable object, someone's gonna get hurt. That someone is Buster Keaton, who wrote, directed, and stars in The General, a movie that turns the intractable and cruel laws of physics into cinematic poetry. Buster Keaton is usually classified, along with Charlie Chaplin, as one of the giants of silent screen comedy. But The General is really more of an action movie, one of the purest and still one of the best of its kind. The title character, after all, is a locomotive, and over the course of 75 minutes, it rarely slows down. Keaton plays Johnny Gray, a young southerner whose two great loves are The General, he's its engineer, and the lovely Annie Lee. When the Civil War breaks out, Johnny tries to enlist in the rebel cause, but the Confederate Army won't have him, and neither will Annie. So it's up to him, and the mighty general, to set things right. There are accidents, collisions, narrow escapes, all of them perfect little parables of cause and effect. Keaton the actor is at the mercy of physical forces, but Keaton the director is quite literally the master of this universe. He conceives and executes complex sequences so effortlessly that it seems almost miraculous. And this is Keaton's genius as a filmmaker, to remake the universe along the lines of a Rube Goldberg contraption, so that everything that happens is utterly preposterous, completely nonsensical, and yet somehow, as you're watching, it all makes perfect sense. 